Hi everybody, today um, I am coming back to talk to you a little bit about GIMP 2.10 on Windows. Um, last time, the last tutorial that I did, it threw up some errors and things of that nature. I also wanted to talk a little bit about the plugins and things of that nature. So I figured out how to get rid of the er errors and as you can see there's a fresh install here and I believe uh, this is what I was trying to do the other day and for some reason it wasn't working but I finally got it working. So if you're still having the issue of getting some errors thrown up what you need to do is you need to go uh, into your control panel and you need to make sure the old gmic is uninstalled and any other type of plugins that you had for GIMP that had installers um, look in your control panel and make sure none of them are installed and then head over to your C, C panel or wherever you had GIMP if you have multiple hard drives like I do but I always install my programs on my SSD so uh, that I get the uh, most optimal performance out of them so what I had to do is I had to go into my users and then chose my user file uh, and then went into app data and then into local and I made sure to uh, delete gmic folders and other type of plugins that I had for GIMP. Um, there's still two here that I'm not sure what these are. Um, but they're not causing no problems for me anymore but what you want to do is you want to go into the app data the local and you want to delete the GIMP folder and then you will want to go back out into roaming and you'll want to find the GIMP folder and delete that also and then also look here to see if there's GMIC or any other programs um, that you have installed and and then you'll want to uh, just go into your program files and you'll if you got a 64 bit version of course if you got 32 bit version you want to go into the program files uh, x86 folder uh, and then you'll want to come in here and you want to see if there's any gmic or anything like that in here and delete that folder um, and make sure you know the old gimps uninstalled and then delete the, the gimp 2 folder out of here if it's still here and then like I said check your program files x86 and make sure that nothing's in here and then after you have all those deleted at least in my case uh, it stopped all them errors so now when I open up GIMP I don't have no GIMP's not throwing me any more errors or nothing like that and as you can see it also came in and it installed the default way that GIMP installs now so they have all kinds of things over here um, which I showed you in the last tutorial basically uh, how I set mine up and how you could go about rearranging your spaces so I'm not gonna really go through this too much um, with you guys so I just come in here and I just close everything out of this so just close tab I don't like having all these tabs it's just distracting and I'm just going to make that down like there uh, let's see layers channels pass um, there's one more that I'd like to have so I'm gonna add tab tool options and then I'm going to squeeze in right here in the middle here if I can which I d it don't look like I can so I'm just gonna go ahead and throw that up there and then I will throw the brushes up here and I'll throw these tool options down here and I'm just going to close out of everything else and that way you guys can see it's that that easy to just change your stuff close tab so brushes is fine up there um, I'll add the where is it at here I will add the navigation of course I want that before the brushes and then the undo history which is right here and that's it for now I don't I don't really need the brushes open right now so I like having those two open tool options in the middle my layers channels and paths I like them all right there and we'll just give that a little bit more room for those since I got a ultra wide display that's fine for me so and then that's all you you have to do um, now gmic it looks like gmic now has an installer for uh, GIMP 2.10 so if you're on Windows you just download the installer run the installer and it will install gmic just fine now I've been doing some research on plugins for GIMP 
Uh, a lot of people are saying that most of the plugins will work, but a lot of them won't work. So, um, I guess GIMP is updated uh, all to GEGL now and things of that nature. So some of the plugins, they will not work, but a lot of people are saying that most of your plugins should work. Uh, I haven't went through and downloaded the plugins yet. Um, I was doing this video because I would like you guys to leave in the comments on what plugins you guys are having specific issues with. And um, if you'd leave those down in the comments below, I will work out and see if I can't um, find a fix for them. Now, some of the plugins for GIMP are really old. They're really good plugins, but they're really old and they haven't been updated in a long time. Now, if those plugins haven't been updated in a long time and the developer shows no sign of working on them, uh, I imagine those plugins are probably going to be lost forever unless somebody goes through and repicks those plugins back up and makes them work for uh, the GIMP 10 or 2.10, sorry, versions. Um, so I'm not gonna go through and install any plugins right now in this video. Uh, I just wanted to do a quick little up, update uh, to show you guys how to get rid of those errors. If your Windows 10 is popping up those errors, uh, like it was for me in the last tutorial. Um, but like I said, I'll leave a link below to this thread. There's a lot of people talking about the plugins uh, it says min, uh, many compiled on Python plugins will still work. The resynthesizer plugin, hill selection set, for example, no provision for 32 bit compiled plugins that I can see. Uh, GMIC GIMP QT throws an error, which uh, it looks like GMIC's already fixed, so uh, that's not an issue anymore. Um, but like I said, a lot of people are saying that most of the scripts and stuff for GIMP should still work. Um, but like I said, leave a comment below and let me know what plugins aren't working for you or if there are plugins that you would like to see um, how to be installed. And I will do a video update. Um, I, somebody asked me in the comments the other day on the last video if I would do a video about that. And I will do a video about that. But I would like to know which um, specific plugins that you guys are having issues with or specific plugins that you guys would like to see installed. Um, and that's pretty much it on that. So I hope that helps you guys if your GIMP still throwing you guys errors. There's another thing. Um, there was some issues with my last uh, in video and the installation of it. Um, that was the first time I was installing it and I had been trying to use it for a long while and I kept on having uh, quite a few bugs with it. So we'll go ahead and I'll just open up a document here. Um, and as you can see, I have to go through and reset all my interface, but that's okay. I'll do that later. Um, I'm going to go ahead and create a new layer. And so I was having an issue with this color right here. When you click on it, it pops up your color selection. Uh, I like using this. I prefer this color wheel right here. Um, it seems like it's doing better now. I'm not, <clears throat> I don't, doesn't look like I could go through and recreate the issue here. And maybe I can I'm not sure see if I pop that up no now it's popping up so one of the bugs that I was getting um, before I went and deleted all those folders I'm hoping I fix that problem too and I and if you guys were getting that issue also where you would pop up the color wheel trying to choose a color or whatever and it would go behind GIMP here and there was nothing you could do to pull it up so mine would end up behind my GIMP and there was nothing I could do to pull it up and I'd have to close GIMP and restart GIMP uh, and then it worked fine for a little while and then it went back to um, being messed up again. And so hopefully that fixes the issue. Uh, another thing that I wanted to talk about is I am planning on doing a new series um, on a bunch of different free programs. Uh, some of the programs, they're going to be uh, open source I'm gonna to try to keep it all open source but some of the uh, free programs that are out there now um, they're not open source but they are very good programs and I'm going to be doing a little videos talking about them and talking about some of the main ones that that I've used in the past or that I use now um, and just go through the interface with you guys and show you guys some new tools 
and and show you guys some new workflows and things of that nature um, if people are interested in that let me know um, I don't really get too many people I mean people comment on videos or whatever but they uh, they don't comment very often but for these I'd like some feedback uh, if you guys know of any programs uh, that you would like to see that are free that you're interested in um, and if I know anything about them I'll do a video on them and even if not I'll just pull them up and show them off a little bit and and hopefully give some people some new tools that they could use but if, for this video that's pretty much it like I said if you guys have any uh, plugins specifically that you want to see installed and things of that nature please comment below or go to my website so if you go um, let's see if you go over to youtube.com slash if I could spell camp toots and it'll pull up my my YouTube channel and if you see here I have my website link so this is an easy way or it's always below in the description below but if you come over here to my website and you'll see here uh, I'm not sure if I showed you guys this or done a video I don't remember on it but I have added a form to the website now uh, all the login it's all secure and things of that nature um, I don't collect any of the data or nothing like that uh, so you just make you a quick little account and we could come you could come over here and you could talk about some GIMP things and things of that nature things that you want to talk about there's a general discussion where we could talk about anything um, rules of course and then there's some blender things and we could add more categories as time goes on but I just wanted to let you guys know that this is here uh, and it's a good way to keep in contact and maybe if you guys don't want to comment on YouTube videos you guys can come over here to the forums and comment here uh, and I will check those alrighty I think that is it for this tutorial please well actually it's not a tutorial it's a more of a discussion video but um, that's it so please like and subscribe for 10 more tutorials and have a great day thank you